applied the attacks, I cut and block away. If I can tear away even better, now I can come back and attack him. Or if I keep hold of the attacks, boom, cut, step in front, drop under, and drop straight Nagi. Sometimes now our hip blocks, hip cuts, tight sabaki, body management. And what I'm going to have TJ do, he's going to come in and he's going to block and attack me with his left hip. And I'm just going to basic hip, hip block and cut away. So whatever grip I may have, I've got this grip. He attacks me and the cut, pop it away. I want to stop the momentum of his throw forward. So he attacks me, I'm going to attack cut away and block away. Don't pick your foot up. Some people pick their feet up. Let's come back here, maybe get a little bit of view of us here. When he attacks, I want to make sure I block and tear away. Okay, so I stop the momentum of the throw. Some people mistakenly, when it comes in, will stick their foot up. And don't do that because I got only one foot on the mat, oh, both feet on the mat. Unless I'm throwing. Yeah, right. So when he, when he attacks, he's going to cut hard, block the leg. Okay? Could be out of any grip. You might have some grip here. I've got this grip. If he attacks, he cut. Stop the momentum. To me, that's one of the basic defenses we use in judo and sambo in any type of a grappling sport, especially with geese. Okay? He might have me really tied up and attack me. If I try to hop around, I'm just lot he's he'll throw me. So I don't like to hop around as much as maybe that's my second line of defense, but certainly my first line of defense is when he blocks the attacks, I cut and block away. If I can tear away even better, now I can come back and attack him. Or if I keep hold of the attacks, boom cut step in front, drop under, and drop straight Nagi, some type of a counter. So that's the hip block and tear away, hip block and cut away. I think one of the basic defenses in judo, jiu-jitsu, and so on. Working, we're working on the hip block drill, hip and cut away drill. It's good for defense. And one guy will attack, the other guy blocks. And we're not, we're working on our hip cuts the whole time. Just back and forth, work on defense. A lot of times we'll do, I'll do 10, you'll do 10. In this case, Kelvin and Derek are drilling. Derek's attacking and Kelvin's blocking. We want to make sure we would do a hip cut, we block, maybe even tear away. This is where we really practice on our defense and good taisabaki or body management. You can see these very good hip blocks and attacks. Right side, left side, you never know what an opponent's going to throw at you. We often do them in sets of 10 each, varying degrees of resistance. Sometimes we may do them in time, like 30 seconds attack, and then one guy blocks the entire 30 seconds, the other guy attacks the entire 30 seconds. Right now we're just kind of working on the skills of defense. This is the hip block drill. Defense is not done enough, and we need to practice it.